This is video number 14 in my indoor weather station tutorial series and in this video we'll be going through um, how to read wind measurements from this sensor. This is the REV-C from Modern Device and it's also an analog sensor just like the one that we had in the, in the last video. So if you didn't watch that video you might want to go back um, because it shows you how to set up the, the analog to digital converter. What I'm going to do is just remove the sound sensor and the wires attached to it. And now all we need to do is wire up this sensor. So for this I'm going to use some uh, longer wires. And this has a plus V which is the power supply. And this one requires 5 volt so I'll hook it up to here. Um, then we have a ground pin which I will hook up to our ground supply here and then we have um, channel 0 that I will hook up to the TMP reading here and we need a second channel, so I'll use channel 1 for the RV pin. Okay, so um, now let's get into the code. I decided not to write out the code like I did in the other videos because this one's just um, pretty complex. You can go to the Modern Device website and uh, they give some documentation as to how they, they got um, to all these um, um, mathematical formulas and so on. So basically what we do is we import time and the analog to digital converter library. Then we specify the channels that we used for the two pins. This I'll come to in a second. Then we create this um, analog to digital converter object and from it we read these uh, analog to digital units. We convert it to volts for the wind sensor and then we include the temperature reading into that and do some kind of conversion um, to then finally get to the wind speed in miles per hour. And then we, um, or at least I, uh, um, converted that to meters per second. And there we go. Um, what can happen is we, we can, under some circumstances, get a wind speed of, um, um, sorry, uh, um, a, what, what can happen is that this fails, this power function here fails. Um, and in that case we would have a negative wind speed, so in that case I'll pass out none and I'll just get to how that can happen in a second. So let's just save this for now. Um, I will leave the code in the description below of course and we will I will save this to data logging. And in keeping with the other videos I'll call this underscore RevC. Because that's the name of the sensor. and. Here now I will say Python um, RevC. Okay. So currently it's showing one meter per second, which is quite a lot for just an interior space. The, the window is not even open. So something's wrong there. And that's because every sensor is just slightly different when it comes out of the factory. So what we first need to do is calibrate it. And again, on the website, they uh, explain how to do this. So basically, the way we need to do it is we need to create a sort of zero wind situation. So what they recommend is to put a glass over it in such a way that the sensor isn't touching the desktop. So right now, there's virtually no wind inside this glass. And what I'm going to do is just quit this. Control C. 
And now that is what this zero wind adjustment is for. So what we need to do is we need to change this number <clears throat> until we get something that is not none, but is just above zero. So I'll start with minus one. Um, where is it? Here. And I will save that and go over here, rerun it. Well, that's too little. So I'll do minus 0.5, save that and rerun. Still too little. So I will do minus 0.25, save and rerun. Okay, that's working, but I might be able to go down just a little bit more. So let me try three and I will save and rerun. Okay, that was too much. Maybe, ah, okay, occasionally. So it's just about um, too little. So maybe I'll just leave it at this. Let's see if that reliably gives me a value each time. Pretty much. Okay, I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So for you, this will be a different value if you're using the same sensor. Um, okay, so now we can remove the glass and let's, let's see if it's now giving us some values that make sense. So this is basically something like five centimeters per second, which seems seems about, about right. Now if I sort of wave my hand close to it, yeah, it gets higher. If I just exhale on it, on it Yeah, then we get higher wind speeds. I sort of think, yeah, if I really blow on it, then um, we, we get really high values, which I guess makes sense. Okay, anyway, so um, th this sensor is, uh, um, works for fairly low wind speeds. <clears throat> it, it isn't really suitable to use for, for outdoors, and that is one of the reasons why I called this um, tutorial series Indoor Weather Station. Anyway, uh, I hope that helped and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.